hey, it's Dr. Horning, and welcome to Cairo Corner. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the vertebral subluxation. First thing you should know is the definition of it. Uh, the vertebral would be the vertebra, which is your spine, and the subluxation would be a misalignment in the spine, um, which affects the nerves that they go to every muscle, cell, tissue, organ, gland, and what else? Pretty much everything in your body. Um, your nervous system goes to everything. And so if there's subluxation, it can affect how the body works. Uh, this is what chiropractors look for, and this is what we adjust. The misalignment that allows the body to function properly. Now, something that's, I'm just going to throw it out there and say, and I think you would agree with me, is the body is trying to heal itself when it gets injured. And the body is trying to survive. You are trying to survive. And so if there's an injury or an illness or something that is going on, your body is trying to fix it. It's trying to figure out how to fix it. Now, if there's a subluxation in your spine, it's going to prevent yourself from healing as fast as it would if it wasn't there. And so the thing that a chiropractor would do be looking to see what is being misaligned, what is the subluxation, and readjust it so the body can help heal itself. It's fantastic. Now, you can take a look at it in a couple different ways. You can take a look at it from strictly a medical approach and just look at it as the nerves itself going to everything and you're opening up the nerve, similar to stepping on a hose and then taking your foot off the hose, allowing the right pressure um, or the right flow to those areas. Um, or you could take a look at it uh, more from, I guess, a spiritual point of view where it's really just your life force, your life force of who you are um, coming from all the way up, down, into your body, from inward, outward. That is the basic philosophy of chiropractic. Up, down, in, out. And you're trying to express yourself in the best way possible. And if these subluxations are roadblocks for you to fully express yourself, why, you wouldn't be as well as you would be if they weren't there. So, a chiropractic subluxation would be something preventing you from really achieving um, your full potential. And a chiropractor would adjust those areas to allow you to really heal and improve. I hope that cleared up... Um, what the vertebral subluxation is. I know there might be a bunch of different opinions on this. I just wanted to give you the facts of it and you can judge it from there. My name is Dr. Ben Horning and thank you for watching Cairo Corner.